Hello and welcome back to Bliss Energy. How is everybody doing? Today is Monday, the 22nd. I'm always guessing when I'm coming on here. I need to get the, the date right, okay? So today is September 22nd, 2020, okay? So I want to know is how is everybody weekend went? I hope it went fine. I had a great weekend this weekend. A girlfriend of mine gave a, a nice brunch. It was called the Magical Brunch. And it's a group of women that, you know, we come together and we build off each other and learn off each other. We learn some little um, rituals to do. Um, I shouldn't even say little. We learn some rituals, okay? You know, giving back to the ancestors, showing them, you know, thank you for um, guiding us, right? And we ate also and you know we just had a good time it's just a good good outing it's always um fun and interesting when you come across these goddesses with such powerful minds you know so i had a it was it was really great that was yesterday it was really really nice so and i you know i brought my cards and i forgot to pull them out i was like i was gonna do a like a you know like a one card pull to see what the energy was, you know, at the brunch, but I forgot. I guess it wasn't meant, right? So anyway, but I got my cards now. So let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. What is the message you have for us today? We ask that anything negative on these cards will, will be removed. We also ask that the message that comes through today make it come through clear that we will fully understand. So what is the message you have for us this morning? Okay, one more, one more. I can feel it like it's not shuffling. Okay, okay. Spitting out. Push that back in. Just to let y'all know, I do personal readings as well. Um, if you need a personal read, you can always email me at info at blissenergy.com. My email address is in the links, okay? And please also don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I'm a new upcoming YouTube influencer. And it's really hard to change the app algorithm of YouTube if you don't have too much of a follower following. So... Please share my video, like it, subscribe. What is the message for today? All right, let's cut. All right, and check out my last video. It's about open thoughts. I was just talking on camera. Yes, okay, let's get this going. Okay, let's go. What is the message? lovers yes we have the lovers card and it's actually like the duality card in the tarot deck and it say make choices from your heart a deeply emotion commitments the power of love so we all know we have to whatever choice that we're going to make it has to come from the heart you have to feel it to make the decision okay Okay, let's go. Let's see what the next card is. Oh, the seven of Gabrielle. Okay, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your per personal power. Okay, so we have the lover, and then we have the seven of Gabrielle coming in. Stand your ground. Stand in your power. Make your choices from your heart. Stand up for what you believe in. Okay? Okay, let's go to the seven Gabriel and stand up for what you believe in and make those choices from your heart. That's why the love card is there. Let's go to seven Gabriel. All right. All right, here we go. 
You must stand up for what you believe in. It is important to confidently defend your action. Even if you're in the minority, your beliefs are right. You must stand your ground. Have the courage of your conviction and pay close attention to what's going on around you. You may need to say no to people in power in order to look out for yourself or those you care about. There is an opportunity to learn a great deal from this situation. Ask yourself if this challenge is purely with those around you or if it might be an internal conflict that has manifested for the purpose of helping you grow. That's Shay. Additional meaning to this card. Claiming your personal power. Determination. Okay. All right. Okay. So it says, ask yourself if this challenge is purely with those around you or if it might be an internal conflict that has manifest for the purpose of helping you grow. A lot of us going through that. A lot of things that that we are going through is because we conflicted upon ourselves. And it's a part of our growth. It's a part of our ascension. Okay? But we must stand we must stand firm in our conviction. Okay? Make those choices from your heart. Okay? Make those choices from your heart. The power of love is very powerful. When you make it from your heart, you will stand strong. Okay? Let's go. And then balance it out. The tour Ariel's here. It is important to have balance. Working multiple jobs and projects at once. Making work fun. Then balance it out. Two Ariel's here. Balance it out. Let's go. And then the night of Gabrielle. Coming in really fast. Time to take action. Great passion for a course. Instantly knowing just what to do. Okay? You're doing a lot of making choices here with the two area. Okay? But you have to balance it out. Night of Gabrielle. Let's go. It is time to take action. This situation needs your full and undivided focus and quick attention. Fortunately, you probably can't wait to get started. Think things through thoroughly and then act with speed and certainty. You will instantly know what direction to move in because you will feel such great passion for the course. That's it. People, someone who has immersed self-confidence and is always ready for the next adventure. A person who is royal, generous of spirit, courageous, charisma, impulsive, additional meaning to this card, a volunteer, an athletic, a passion for life, single-mindedness. Okay, it's coming in fast. This, 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 this action that you need to do is coming in fast. Look, stand your ground, believe in what you believe in, believe in, believe in yourself. Stand up and believe in you, okay? Have confidence. Claim your power. Time to take action. Great passion for causes here. All right. Let's go. I'm loving this read this morning. All right. High Priestess is here. The High Priestess is here. Powerful psychic insight, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Okay. Falls right underneath the lover's card. Make your choice from the heart. The high priestess is here. Okay? She's telling you, you have the you have the power. You have the power. Okay, let's go to the high priestess. The answers you seek are within you. They cannot be found through intellect, but instead are a product of your deepest feelings. You have to go within. Okay? Emotional situation provide great insight right now. Intuition and psychic messages should be treated seriously and with great respect, as they can be relied upon with confidence. Your dreams at night may also hold keys to understanding what action to take. There may be aspects of your, of your situation that you are unaware of, but our angel Hannah can provide you with the enlightenment and answer you're searching for. This is not a time of action, but of reflection and meditation. Have faith that the event unfold perfectly and that you will know when to move forward. Remain patient and be at peace knowing that your inner guidance will not fail you. Additional meaning to this card. The power of the subconscious. 
the willingness to forgive, spiritual awakening, patience, the mystery and awe of the universe, keeping the confidence of keeping the confidence of others. So yes, reflect. See up here, this is up here, this is where you where you at. Okay? Okay? Standing up. They're telling you to stand up for what you believe in. Okay? Have some balance with it though. Take the ash and action that you need to take. Alright? Because it's coming in fast. Alright? And the high priestess is saying, go within, reflect, meditate. Be at peace. Okay? Cause she's here standing ground and when you when we see the empress or the queen or the king it doesn't necessarily mean a, a, a feminine energy or a masculine energy okay it's it's the power behind the priestess it's the power behind the queen it could be male or it could be female same thing when it goes with the king or the knight okay because i don't want any male you know, coming in, listening to the read, and they think, oh, that must be for a female because the high priestess hit the table. No, it's the energy of the high priestess, okay? It don't have anything to do with gender, feminine or the masculine, okay? Just want to clear that up, all right? So it's the energy of the high priestess is amongst us, okay? Let's go. Ten of Michael's here. Okay, a situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. That's why the high priestess came. Okay, to let you know you are in your power. You are in your, in your higher self. So when you get those thoughts and those feelings, the high priest is saying, listen to it. Go within. Use your psychic in insight. Reflect, meditate. Because when you do that, there's valuable information that's coming in. There's valuable lessons that's being taught to you. But you have to listen to your higher self. You know those thoughts you get in your head? Oh, I should go this way. Make a left. No, make a right. You know what I mean? First, the first thought that you get in your head is the right, the right choice. Sometimes we try to bypass it and move on and act like it never existed. But then you remember when the, when the action or something happens, it comes up. Like, damn, I knew I told my, I thought about not doing that or I thought about doing that. That's because you didn't listen to your higher self. You didn't listen to yourself. So the high priest is saying, use your powerful psychic insight. Go within, reflect and meditate within and listen to your higher self. And the Taylor Michael was saying, the situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities and happiness will now follow you. Put the past behind you. Because when Michael comes, you already know he cuts the bullshit out. Take a bow. It's ended. You can take a bow. You can hug yourself. Because the situation has ended. Let's go to Tanner Michael. Okay. Here we go. It's finally over. A situation has ended and you are finally free. You probably saw this time coming and have been welcoming it. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. It is possible that you have a sense of sadness, but this card more often brings with a great sense of belief or relief. Excuse me. If you've been struggling, the worst is over now. Let go of what you've been holding on to. Have faith that your angels will walk with you into the beautiful of a brand new dawn, okay? Additional meaning to this card. Pushing too hard, putting the past behind you, feeling oneself of a dependency. Okay, put it behind, it's over. Life is over, girl. And gentlemen, <laughs> life is over. That old life you was walking in is over. Welcome to your new life, whether you like it or not. It's upon us, okay? I'm loving minds. So get to used to loving yours, even if it needs a little tw tweaking, okay? Let's go. Ten of Raphael. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I just said. Love and blessings fill your life. 
harmonious relationship with family members. Happy ever. That's what I'm saying. Step into this new life. The ten of Raphael is here. And it's all about family life. Okay? You have to get used to this new chapter we entering into. Something totally new for everybody. The whole collective. Whether you're on the left side, right side, or right in the middle. Okay? Nobody that's living during this time and has experienced this shift in their life. Some of the shift is good. Some of the shift is considered bad. But there's a shift. And the shift is still taking place. Okay? So, right now on the table, we have the Ten of Raphael. And it's saying, love and blessings fulfill your life. That's what I'm talking about. Because that situation ended. That's why Michael's here. You can take a bow now. Because <laughs> the love and blessings is filling your life. Okay? Ted and Raphael, let's go. Open right up to the book. Love and blessings fill, fill your life. This is a beautiful moment where it's seen as though you have it all. Your family is loving and happy. You may still work hard, but there is a feeling of satisfaction and peace when you come home. Your relationship with your children or other family members are peaceful and harmonious. Relationship can't be a lot of work, but they're worth it. Your hopes and dreams are within reach. If it's a beautiful home light you're seeking, you're on the right path. Addition to meaning to this card, happy romantic partnership, trustworthy relationship, the end of stress, happily ever after. That's what we're talking about. Completion, especially when you have a happy home life. Okay? Love and blessings fill your life. Beautiful spread here. Let's go to the let's let's go to the last card. And then the king sits on the table. King of Gabrielle. Right underneath the knight of Gabrielle. The king is standing firm and his conviction is strong. He makes power moves. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concerns of others. He doesn't play either when he comes on the table. Okay? He means business. Fast. Order. Okay? Let's go. The king is here. Situation. This is all about the bigger picture. There's a great deal to be done. There's a great deal to be done. But your job is to come up with the grand vision. Leave the details to someone else. You can take the risk because you have the experience and know how to do so successfully. Those around you expect and want you to take the lead. Let your enthusiasm and natural charm shine through. Creativity is the key to a successful adventure. People, a magnetic determined leader, someone who's broad vision, who can motivate people to greatness. Inspirational, generous, forceful, dra dramatic, driven. Additional meaning to this card. An investor with morals, genuine concern, genuine concern for the welfare of all. Set an example, unexpected money. The king is here. The king. That's the king of wands. The king of fire. Okay? This represents the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius. All right? Okay? The two of pentacles represent the earth, the earth elements. The ten of Raphael represents the water, and the mic. And so that's that's like Cancer. This is Earth. This is like Capricorn, Taurus. This is water. This is Scorpio, Cancer. Okay. Michael represents Aquarius, the air signs Gemini. Just going over what each suit in in the tarot deck represent. The also associate with the zodiac signs as well. Okay, so let's get back to the King of Gabrielle. He is a strong. They know what they want. They're go-getters. They make it happen. Okay? They make things happen. They get things moving. Okay? 
and that's what the, this, the end of the this the last card. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture, okay? Yes, let's go. What's the, the bottom of the deck? We have the fourth Raphael. The overall energy of the read. Seek out possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions, okay? Because sometimes our emotion can overcome. Overcome what we're supposed to be doing. We be driven in our own emotions. <laughs> so be careful of that. That's what they're saying. Be careful. Don't get trapped in your emotion, okay? Because the situation has ended. You can take a bow now. I love this card. Thank you very much. Okay. New opportunity is coming in. All right. Let's pull from, from the Energy Oracle deck. See if there's any additional message for us. Anything else? Any additional messages on this read? Okay. Additional messages on this read. Ooh, they're trying to pop out. Oh, something popped out. All right, let's see. Let's see, 22. The yin and the yang. The duality. All right. Let's see what this is about here. Excuse me. All right. The yin and the yang. Number 22. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wow. Open oh, right to it. Let's go. One page behind it. The yin and the yang. Passion, active. Intuition, logic. Upright. This card represents angelic life cycles and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cycle energy moving into, moving into or out of your experience. In, in its upright position, it hurts a yin circle where most of the actions seem to be happening under the surface of things. This is a time of great receptacle intuition. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. It is an especially good time for completion. So wrap things up. The yin cycle often calls you to be passionate, yielding, Reflective, so open up to those sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. Okay. 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 So it's a great, great time. External, external circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine the present activity. More meditation. More reflection. That's why the high priestess fell here. To reflect, to go within, to listen to your higher self. Okay? Yes. One more card. And we're going to end this read. It's a little bit after 20 minutes. So we don't want to go too long, right, guys? So let's go. Any additional message for us? Okay. Anything else? To end this read. Guess that's it, guys, for Monday morning. Yeah, anything else? Oh, okay. So, the one slide out. All right, let's see. Wait. Wait. Okay, wait. Have patience. Whatever that means to you guys, have some patience and wait because the, the timing is now. Okay? So just wait. It is coming. Wow, such a beautiful read. So I'm going to end it there, and we will talk tomorrow. Take care.